campaign compared to ADOS and reparations well actually Mississippi campaign is ADOS because we put our people the descendants of slaves born in America the so called Negro black Americans we are first it's all about us first we are numero uno the black woman soul sisters number one us Black Americans, we are first. I don't care who we related to. We we could be related to Africans or people in the islands or whatever. It don't make no difference about who we related to. It's about us. We are first. It's all about us. Learning how to the, the self that I want to love, how the, the self, my grandparents that I know. I don't know what they did in Egypt. I don't know what they did in ancient Timbuktu in Africa. The only thing I know about is America. So you need to learn how to deal and live and be successful in America. Talking about some other places. If you can't make it in America, what make you think, how you gonna make it in a foreign land? You can't speak the language, you don't know their custom. The whole thing sounds stupid. So we are adults here. It's all about Ados here. Matter of fact, we was Ados before Yvette Carnell and Tariq, Foundation of Black America. We was already that here before Tariq Nasheed and, and Yvette Carnell and her partner, whoever, all these Ados people. We was already that. Reality's Temple on Earth was already that long time ago. We was already that. So it's not nothing new. The descendants of slaves born in America. Black America first. I've always been that. That's why I could never get on that African train. And the comedic train. Dead people Egyptian train. It's all about the living. It's all about us in America. My grandmama. My great grandparents that I know of in America. Not about some people I don't have. No idea when they existed or whatever. I got to pretend like I have some kind of relationship with them. I don't know no. How many of you know e e uh, Egyptian? Raise your hand. How many of you know anything about Egyptians? You don't know. Making up all these Egyptian names and Hebrew names and comedic names and all this stuff. The, the whole the stuff don't make any sense. That's not who you are. You do all that. And still act like a black American. Still act like the N-word. Because that's who and what you are. And that's what you will be. The only way you can become these people. You got to go to Egypt. You got to go to Africa. And after certain generations. Your bloodline or whatever. Mix in with those people. And those children. Not you. Those children. Will become Africans or whatever. You will never be that. Never. And there's another thing about we always want to adopt. Adopt the history of, of other people. When you adopt the history of other people, not only do you adopt the good side, you adopt the bad side too. If you want to adopt the history of Angel Snub number seven, 
you also have to adopt the fact that Angel Snuffin' Up 7 was locked up in the crazy house 10 years. That's part of your history too. That's part of the whole deal too. You can't, you can't just, you just can't accept the things that I did that make you look good. Oh, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 can play that basketball. Woo, he's, he's no, you got to accept the whole package. You want to be a black Muslim? You're going to have to adopt that Arab, that whole Arab history. So whatever, whatever they do, that's part of you too, because you, you want to be them. Remember, the Hebrew Israelites, whatever, remember, they were they were rebels against God. So you are part of that too. They were rebels against God. So that's part of you too, huh? and you curse. That's that's part of you. Whatever Africa is, there's a lot of good things about Africa. There's also a lot of bad things. Africans have did some atrocious things too, and they're still doing it right now to this day. You are part of that. But see, we here as Black Americans, you can't charge us with nothing. Every anything of evil we've ever done. Is because our slave master, our oppressor, got our hand. We've never been in a position where we freely oppressed and did anything to nobody. So I'm happy to be in a position to be on a clean slate. You can't say I made you a slave. You can't say that I killed your people. You can't say that black Americans did a damn thing to nobody. The only thing that has ever been done, we've been on, on the other side of oppression. We've never been the oppressor. I'd rather be a black American, African American, whatever the hell you want to call us. I'm not going to adopt these other people's history because you're going to have to accept whatever evil, whatever atrocities they've done, you got to accept that. So in conclusion, signing out on this last question, we are ADOS, always been ADOS. That's not a problem. And as far as reparation is concerned, we know that this government, as long as it is what it is, they're not going to give you reparations. You can beg, you can cry, you can sing, you can dance. They're not going to give us reparations. And this last election, they basically made that perfectly clear. And if they do give you reparations, it's some it's some kind of corny type stuff that they want to go on, whatever it is. But see, the thing about the Mississippi campaign is you put yourself in a position to get your own reparation. Because you take control of a state, you take control of the budget of that state which could be in the millions and millions of dollars every year. Your reparations, because you take that money, a lot of it going to waste. These, these current lawmakers in the state of Mississippi, they're messing out, you know they're messing taxpayers' money. You can straighten that all up and, and put it in a, in a position where it benefits you and yours. And if brothers and sisters if brothers and sisters from California, Detroit, Louisiana, wherever they live, if they help Mississippi become a, a strong state, then we all benefit nationwide. We can help build businesses in California, in Texas, wherever we are. The Mississippi campaign it's about a team effort. It's not about an individual. It's not about a group. It's about a team effort. The nation of people help this one state get strong so this one state can help all of us and eventually we can spread out to another state like Alabama or Georgia. Now, if you have the information to show us that another state would be easier to take control of than Mississippi, that's cool. It don't have to be Mississippi. It's all about making things easy. 
I'm up for easy. I mean, yeah, make it easy on us. The only reason why we chose Mississippi is because I feel we felt as though it's a it's a it's in a position. It would be easier to to do what we need to do. Don't talk about New York. You're not going to take control of no New York. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's that's a pipe dream. But Mississippi is a poverty-stricken state. Nobody don't really give too much of a damn about it. And since you're doing this for what is in the best interest of brothers and sisters, black America, but there are other people in the state, you got to sell, we have to sell the idea to them to show them we're doing this to help benefit the black people, but it's gonna benefit you too. Your taxes will be lower. The crime is going to decrease. Your children are going to get a better. Matter of fact, your children can go to college for free in the state. Or show them. you got to sell this. And they will help you. Non-black people will help us do what we need to do. And when you're successful, Alabama going to want to do it. Louisiana going to want to do it. Matter of fact, Mississippi might become the blueprint what America should be. Oh, woo, did you hear what I said? Mississippi can become the blueprint for what America should be. The sky's the limit. But you don't understand as long as you have the mind of a slave. And these things, these religious ideologies and spiritual ideologies and pan African pro blackity black all this stuff. Those, to, to, those are slave teachings. Those are things that limit your mind. Only take you so far and stop. The Mississippi campaign is a strategy and a mindset that is limitless. The only thing that's limit, that limits the Mississippi campaign is you. Your brain can take you. Matter of fact, I'm looking at beyond the earth to go to where no man has gone before. You looking at it on the surface. Mississippi campaign. Just like when we look at black women. You look at the black woman, we look at women in their un in an unnatural state. These women, these women are products of oppression of men for generations and generations. We need to put this woman, give her her nature back. This is not her. This is not woman. This is a product, just like us black people. We are the product of oppression. But when we can become free, we can finally become us. When this woman become free, she can finally become a woman that she loves, not a product of men. We can become free, black Americans, soul brothers and sisters, we can become free, not a product of the slave plantation anymore. The Mississippi campaign is a wonderful thing. They don't like the Mississippi campaign because it's out, it's, it's beyond their comprehension. Thank you.